was for the photo shoot. It's important to Just before we start, I have a few makeup looks that you can choose from. Yes, I heard that you were doing this summer photo shoot today, right? Yes, so I did prepare some different styles. Here, as you can see, I have some natural, natural summer style. So, you can see here that there are very thick and full, full brows with some natural eye makeup and also nude lips. Yes, and a little. This is going to create like a really, really natural and shimmery look for the summer photo shoot. Yes, uh -huh, you were thinking about having a natural makeup. That's very good. Well, if you don't like this, I also have some colorful designs. So can see here that I have like really bold eyeshadows with blue, purple, and even a yellow shades. So this creates like a really um, fairy and princess-like look. And I heard that this makeup is for the photo shoot, so I was thinking maybe you could go a little by doing some of these colorful designs. How do you feel about that? Oh, fine. Yes, a bit too much, maybe. Yes. So, I have another look for you. So, this... Um, kind of like a comb 
combination between the natural, natural look and it has like a hint, hint of colorful designs added to it. So it is very natural, but it's not too bland or plain. Yes, so you could see that the overall makeup is very natural. It's got the summery shimmer and the nude lip and natural brows. But at the same time, it has like some eyeshadow that are very bold. Yes. So I thought maybe since it's a summer photo shoot, the concept is meant to be summer, right? So you could go for like a blue shade of eyeshadow. What do you think about? Sounds nice, right? Alright, well then, I will try to do a similar look to this one. Alright, yes, I'll make sure that it's not, you know, too over the top. Very good. Now we can start right away. I heard that you are very, very busy, so please just relax while I get my makeup and the products for you. Thank you for the patience. Alright, so first I'm going to have to remove your hair off your face and I'm just going to clip your hair behind. So these clips, they don't leave a mark on your hair, so you don't need to worry about your friend. Okay, another one. So, um, are you wearing any makeup at the moment? No? Really? I thought you were wearing foundation because your skin is just so beautiful. Just the sunscreen. Okay, well before we apply anything, I'm just going to have to remove the sunscreen off your face. And I'm going to be doing that by using this Physio Gal, um, Red Soothing Sicker Balance Toner. So this contains like a really soothing ingredient and they do not irritate your skin at all. This is for a sensitive skin. So I will do that right now. It's important to uh, remove and use this in the direction of your skin's natural flow, I guess. The nose too. Just around your nose. Your chin. This is the same Physio Gal, same brand, and it's also a red soothing lotion. So this is for irritated skin and sensitive skin. So you do not need to worry about um, getting skin irritation. Okay. Oops. 
absorb the rest into my hand. Just kind of massage in, okay? So like this. I don't want to irritate your skin, so I'm just going to massage a little bit. I'm just going to tap it. Okay, I'm just going to just tap it all over so that it is absorbed very well into your skin. Very good. Now we can start the actual makeup. Well, and now I'm going to apply this primer, okay? So this primer is called a Magic Pore Primer, sorry. And it is for all skin types. And what it's going to do is going to create like a really smooth base on your skin for your foundation, okay? So it's going to cover your pores and make you have like silky, like Instagram filter look, okay. Alright, so let me just get a little bit of this onto my fingers and what's really important about this is that you do not need a lot. I'm just going to slowly rub it in your cheeks like this, especially the T-zone where you have a lot of pores. You know, not you, I mean everybody has got pores. So you do not need to worry about them at all. Just a little bit on your chin. With this, I'm not going to dab it because it can create like a really rough texture. I'm just going to leave it like that and we can start the actual foundation now. Very good. Okay, so since it's a summer makeup, I'm not going to be using really, really matte and thick layer of foundation. I'm just going to use a light. Because we don't want to make it look too glam, you know, we just want to make it very natural. And this one is very natural. And the shade is, I think, okay with you. And also, it does have some nice coverage, so it can cover some of your blemishes too. I'll just gently dab on your skin like this. On this side too, I'm going to just gently dab. Okay. Yeah. 
Station. You do have a lot of pimples on your chin, right? Yeah, yes. Alright, very good. Just let me just apply a little bit more. Because we are not going to be applying any concealer, okay? We don't want to cover too much because we want to make you very natural and summery. So just a little bit more on the side. Okay, also I'm just going to apply some on your neck. We don't want to have like a different color. We want the skin tone to be even. So, yep. Okay, so let me just go a little bit more on this side. A little bit under this side. And now I'm just going to follow the wrinkle lines. Not that you have any wrinkles, everybody has. Close. I'm just gonna go like this. Just smooth out on even part, especially around your nose. Okay. Plus, we want to get the foundation on everywhere, even. I can just. Very good. I think that's enough. Okay. Alright, let's see. Okay, I think it's all even now. Very good. And now I'm going to add, um, apply, I mean, some powder on your face. And I don't want to make it too dry and matte. But then I do need to have some powder on your eyebrows and around your nose somewhere that's a little greasy because there is a difference between a greasy skin and glowing skin so we're going to erase the grease with the powder and then add something to glow 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 make your skin glow so i'm just going to get this powder with this brush, I'm just going to apply some. Okay, not too much. I'm just going to just gently. Just brush on your skin, your forehead. enough I think we don't want to make it too mad. Alright, so let's move on to the eyebrows now. For your eyebrows I was thinking whether um, I should use like a pencil type 
or like a shadow type but then I thought with your eyebrows I can use a shadow type is that fine with you? yes because you kind of want to make your eyebrows a little bit full kind of creating that youthful look on you so I'm just going to brush your eyebrows first so that they are the your hair in the right direction so I'm just gonna go I'm just going to apply this shade here. Okay. okay I'm just going to be very gentle with you. So as I was saying, um, we are going to go for the natural brow like this. So I'm just going to try to make it very um, in a natural arched shape and uh, not too arched, just within your brow shape. Let me just fill rose first like this. Arch the shape. Fill the parts where it's a little empty. Let's see. we do the eyeshadow I'm actually going to do your contouring first okay so with the contouring I'm only going to contour a little bit like I said we're going for the 
summery natural look so I'm going to use this contouring shade to do your contouring look so you're only going to be using um, one or two shades of your nose because even though we don't want to make it too bold sometimes uh, when you take a photo everything the makeup it goes away right and just the tips of your nose and just a little bit the top kind of creating that cute little So now I'm going to do your highlighter, okay? And um, I'm just going to use my fingers to do the highlighter. So here I have this eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow, but this eyeshadow has a, this really, really beautiful highlighting sort of color. See, it's like very, very shimmery and glittery. Because um, we really want the glow bum, 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 on our skin, I'm going to use this, okay? I'm just going to just apply a little bit on my fingers like this. See, it's so shimmery, so beautiful, right? And just apply on your cheekbones like this. Okay, and then just apply some on your, on your cheekbones, make them very stand out. See, wow, it's so pretty, and just some on your forehead and your nose. And we don't want it too much on your nose, but we do want a lot on your our, um, tip of our nose because that's cute. Okay, just a little bit on your chin. So beautiful already. Yes, the makeup is so glowing and your skin looks so flawless. Yes, it does have some flaws, but then I wouldn't want to call the flaws flaws because they're just natural, you know, just aspects of our beauty, right? Anyway, so let's do your eyeshadow. Okay, so for your eyeshadow, I'm just going to use this palette of eyeshadows. So we're going to use the base from here. Okay, let me just get a medium-sized brush. So I'm just going to do your base. I'm 
So even though we have decided to go a little bit bold for the eyes, I still have to do a little bit of neutral base colors on your eyes so that you look very deep. And gorgeous. So I'm just going to use this brown shimmery color and just go. Let's go back to our reference. So if you see, here we wanted to have like a blue shade on your beautiful eyes, right? Not purple because it's summer. We want that cool, aquary um, feel to it. Kind of like how, you know, it's summer now and the little mermaid is out. We just want that really beachy ocean vibe. That's like the trend, even though Ariel doesn't really have blue eyeshadow, you know. So what I have, I have something really special in our shop, in our studio. Okay, they are eye pastels. Have you ever heard of eye pastels? They look exactly like a regular pastel, but it's... Uh, for your eyes. I know, right? That's crazy. I got like three colors here. I chose three colors especially for today. And the first one is like a cobalt blue. It's very cool sort of blue. Just a typical, you know, ocean color. Very, very pretty, very chic, very great for every tone, skin tone. Aquary, aquary version of the cobalt blue but it's a little bit lighter and has like a hint of green and it, so it's kind of like a very aquary color next is more aquary color it's got a lot of green and it. it's almost like a blue green so it kind of has this really cool summer vibe to it so out of these three I'm going to ask you to choose one for yourself oh yes they do apply so well see oh this one you are thinking exactly what i'm thinking so let me use this one then okay i'm just going to apply this on the um, lids of your eyes your eyelids just like this I think 
this is just like a regular daily makeup, yeah. I mean, it's bold, but it's got a statement, but it's also very natural and it looks very, very hip at the same time. So what I thought is maybe I can use like a lighter shade at the bottom of your eye. I just, I'm so happy with the result. So let's do our um, eyeliner. So I have like a pencil type eyeliner and a pen type eyeliner. And I thought for today I could use a pencil type eyeliner because we kind of want to blend it with the uh, blue eyeshadow. from the beginning part of your eye then I'll do like a little wing at the end one more time like this side too yes, we don't want to make it to have a, a little wing to make it look a little bit sassy but not too much and just let me just draw a little bit the end just make it a little bit dark so the eyes look more bigger okay and we'll definitely not draw the underline yes no no I have this uh, beige, beige uh, eyeliner. So beige eyeliner is for uh, the depth of your eyes, which we've already created with the eyeshadows prior to the everything else. But I'm just going to add, apply a little bit on the underline of your eyes just to make it more. corner of your eyes in the corner of your eyes yes it's very subtle but you can tell the difference when you actually take the photos for your photo shoot all right so next uh, definitely we have to do our mascara so I'm just going to use this eyelash color to curl your eyelashes all right we want to have like really really curly and strong Lashes because we just want your eyes to be bold as possible. So let me just go and then the next, and then the next. Other side too. One more time, just a little faster. I'm gonna curl it all the way. Curl it all the way. One more time. Very good, it's perfect. Now, the mascara. That's just a regular mascara. Uh, it's very good for a volume. So it's for the volume and curl mascara. So I'm just going to go from the roots and then up. Okay, 
just going to add a little bit on your lower lashes too but you don't want to get it on your skin so be really careful just go like this okay if you look at her reference, you can see that they also have really strong lower lashes. And not all of them, but then if you see, if you see here, you can see how the under lashes look so good with blue eyes, right? And even purple, just just color, color eyeshadow in general. Um, so I really want to skip uh, the blusher, f to be honest, because I don't want to have too much pink and peach, you know, sort of spring sort of vibe, because I just want this makeup look to be super clean, super cool, simple, but I'm not too sure how the photo is going to come out, so I'm just going to apply a teeny mini bit of this rosy colored blusher just very just a light touch tricky I'm just gonna have just lightly like this and just have it around your cheeks like this just very lightly oh, let's see I think it looks alright Overall, just on the forehead, this is only going to create um, very, you know, a live, live look. So we're almost done with our makeup, but last but not least, obviously, we have to do our lips. And let's check our reference one more time if that's cool. Yes. So here, overall, I said before we're gonna go for the lips like this, very nude, very cute, very plump. So overall, all the makeups that I have prepared have nude lips, see? So we're going to be giving you a peachy nude lip with some of this gloss, okay? So first I got this lip crayon. And the color is very pretty. I don't know if you can see how See, it's very nude. It's so pretty, right? It's a little bit beach, but then also very pinky, a little salmon-y, but it's not a warm tone at all. So it's just perfect for your makeup look. It's perfect for all skin tones, very pale tones to really dark, beautiful skin also. So since your skin tone is a little bit yes that's correct i think this is perfect it's perfect for all skin tones I'm just, gonna go just give you a line
so good I just can't wait until I finish it's so very very good it's so beautiful but we can't send you like this because we have to add that gloss to your lips right so I'm going to be using this honey jam it's called honey jam but obviously it's not a real honey jam it's just like a nude gloss So gooey. You can see it's like very sticky. I'll put it on my hand again to show you the color. It's so pretty, right? It's so gooey and I don't know if you can see properly because of the lighting here, but then it's like a peach nude color. So it's very nude. It's transparent almost, but it's got like a really a little tint of peachy shade so it's very natural I'm just going to apply on your lips top part of your lips too just like that just the bottom of it and it kind of gives you a very plump a little bit sticky but then if you don't go bum 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 bum, bum, bum like this it'll be fine all right so we are all done with your makeup let me just check it's so beautiful it's you look like a mermaid seriously you should have been the aerial for the little mermaid in the live action movie yes it's so nice like the skin tone has come out perfectly it's very glowy and the eyebrows and the blue eyeshadows and the nude glossy lips they all just go very well now um uh, for your hair i um remember as we spoke on the phone before our session yes when you were making your appointment you didn't want to have anything too fancy it's just a natural style right Mm -hmm. So you didn't want to have an updo or anything. Alright, that's good. So I'm just gonna make it very simple and uh, natural. I'm just gonna take out the pins that I have put into your hair. I'm just going to brush your hair a little bit, okay? Oops, okay. Oops, oops, oops. Yes. So I'm just going to brush and then kind of straighten it. Is that fine? Yeah, then give you these really nice curtain bangs with volume. Let me just brush first. So let me just brush your hair first. Okay, so let me brush this side now. It's so tangled here.
tilt it on. Okay, very good. I'm going to uh, straighten your hair now. Okay, so I'm going to straighten your hair. I was, uh Very good. So I have finished. Um, all right. So um, we're all done with straightening your hair. I've straightened everything. I'm just going to use. There's hair roller to give you a nice curtain bang. Okay. So this is going to be our last. Last step, just going to roll your hair, just leave it like that for a second, okay. And then I'm going to spray a uh, light water spray that's called a natural hold. So this is perfect for fringes and curtain bangs. Ready? Okay. Just 
pretty gently on your things and a little bit on your side hair too. Now let's take out your hair roller, okay? So your hair looks just really natural and also very kind of sexy at the same time. I'm not sure why it's giving this really sexy vibe, but there's not like those made up sexy, it's those natural sexy, so that's good. And I love your bangs, curves and bangs is very good. And so you're all done for today. Yes, yeah, so I know you've already seen yourself in the mirror, but you can check yourself out with the big mirror by the door when you leave. Are you satisfied with the result? Really? Yes, well, I am too. I think you look like a celebrity. So everything is finished now. Mm -hmm. And you've already made your payment through uh, online, so you don't need to worry about that. We will send you the receipt via your email, okay? Very good. So I hope your photo shoot goes really, really well. And I'd really love to see the results. Yes. And um, could I reuse your photos for my portfolio? Oh, thank you so much for letting me do that. Well, you're all good to go now. And thank you so much for um, coming to our studio today. Yes. All right. Well, have a nice day. And I hope to see you next time. Okay. Alright. Bye.